OTB AM. OTB AM is live in association with Gillette. Good morning, start with Gillette, giving you the confidence to tackle the day ahead. OTBsports.com this morning is leading with Ronan O'Gara on Sam Bennett's victory. Also some quotes from Eddie Gray, who was on the football show last night. A bit more on Novak Djokovic. Connor Nyland was on the show last night. While Everton continue midfield spree with £25 million de Coure deal. And Italy defeat boosts Ireland's under-21 Euro qualification hopes. The Irish Times leads with Ian O'Reardon's piece there on Sam Bennett. Bennett lets emotions flow as he earns a stage win. Uh, Larry commits to playing Irish Open, meanwhile. He will fly directly from the US Open in New York to ensure he will be the headline act at the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open in uh, September 24th to 27th. And European cross country in Dublin is cancelled due to COVID-19. That is the front of the Irish Times sports section. The Irish Examiner leads with Donald Lenehan's column, thinking outside the box, B-O-K-S, how Munster's mindset needs to change. Meanwhile, Super Sam sparkles on big stage and Madigan already feeling the love at Ulster, writes Brendan O'Brien. The Irish Daily Mail goes with Niall Quinn's comments last night. It was hostile. Some clearly didn't want me in FAI, says Quinn. He was speaking on Virgin Media Sport last night. There was no coup, he says. This was never an attempt to take over Irish football. It was a period of time to readjust it to get it right. The London Times goes with missing an action. Insipid England barely create a chance and bore draw. Lack of flair without shame to Foden, Foden and Greenwood. And meanwhile, no Olympics for Semenya after ruling. Caster Semenya will not run at the Olympics next year. She will refuse to let World Athletics drug her and accuse the governing body of being on the wrong side of history after losing her legal battle. The Irish Independent, meanwhile, leads with team news ahead of the weekend's Pro 14 final. Leinster to rest Sexton for final with Saracens clash in mind. Also in the Ulster side of things, Albie, Albie Matthewson may get the nod at scrum half ahead of John Cooney and also back at Leinster then at scrum half. It seems Luke McGrath might be arrested. Jamison Gibson Park will start. They're keen to get James Ryan game time and uh, it seems that he will start this weekend. The Racing Post's front page leads with welcome to Doncaster. Spectators back on track after six months. And on the back page, it is Thrill Seekers, star duo set for a semi-final showdown. That is, of course, Victoria Azarenka up against Serena Williams at around 5 o'clock this evening in the US Open. The Guardian leads with a picture there of Harry Kane. The headline is Harry Payne. Meanwhile, Patel visits Sparks Drive over racing finances. A visit by Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary to Leading Stables and Newmarket, has sparked a fresh attempt to revive horse racing's beleaguered finances, writes Chris Cook and Rajiv Sial. Uh, the Daily Telegraph goes with a picture there of uh, Harry Kane. The headline is Dane Payne. And COVID surge, ministers stick to fans' return. It'll be interesting to see how this goes over the next little while in the UK with their attempt to get some supporters back into stadiums. The back of the Irish Daily Star leads with This Is For Dad. That's the headline on the story with regards to Shane Duffy, who is determined to fill late father's wish with landmark title. And Cyborg is lined up for Taylor. Katie Taylor could meet Brazilian MMA star Chris Cyborg in a cross-code clash by the end of the year, according to Eddie Hearn, which is a very, very interesting possibility. The back of the Irish Sun is Duffy's Gonna Get You, Shane's Bobo Aim. Uh, comparisons there with Bobo Balde. And Tier de France is the headline on Sam Bennett. And finally, the back page of the Irish Mirror is Man of the Season. Kevin De Bruyne reveals his huge honour at receiving the top player accolade in Premier League from his fellow professionals. To be honest with you, I thought it had already been handed out and I thought he had already won that award, but it turned out he hadn't. So Kevin De Bruyne is your 2019-20 PFA Player of the Year. Right.